Hi there and welcome to Z Online School. We are very happy for you clicking on this video and by the end of this video you know what is excretion. By the end of this video you will also be able to define excretion in a biological way using biological terms that will make your definition stand out. You are going to learn about the organs that are involved in excretion the importance of excretion and at the end of this video we've got a bonus tip for those who want to study excretion smarter. We're going to start with defining excretion. The word excretion comes from a word excrete and immediately I noticed that I went to the dictionary and looked for the definition of excrete and it said to pass solid or liquid waste matter from the body. When I saw this, I could form a definition that was quite good. Excretion is the process by which solid or liquid waste matter is passed from the body. But the problem with that definition is that it doesn't have biological terms in it. Yes, there's matter, there's body. But what can we do to make it sound biologically better? We're going to add two words, toxic and metabolic. Toxic meaning poisonous and metabolic meaning from metabolism. I guess the word poisonous is not so difficult to digest, while for metabolism we might maybe need some explanation. When you hear metabolism, it's just a general word for chemical processes that occur in the body. They are divided into two parts. The first one is anabolism and the next is catabolism. When we talk about anabolism, we're talking about chemical processes that build up complex substances. While on the other hand, catabolism, we're talking about processes that break down complex molecules. An example of anabolism is photosynthesis, where simple molecules are gotten and used to form a complex molecule glucose. While we can take the opposite of photosynthesis, which is respiration, giving us an example of catabolism, where the glucose is broken down into simpler molecules. With that said and done, I'm sure now we can define excretion in a biological sense. And our definition here recommended at Z Online School for the Zambian exams is the removal of toxic metabolic waste from the body. With that said and done, now let's look at the organs involved in excretion. There are quite a number of organs in the body and not all of them are involved in excretion. We are going to select the major organs that are involved in excretion in the body. These organs, you must get comfortable calling them excretory organs because that's the common term used to refer to organs involved in excretion. There are basically four that we are going to look at. The first one is the kidney. Usually there are two in the human body. The kidneys excrete urea, uric acid, excess water, and excess mineral salts. When all this is combined, it's excreted as urine, which is a liquid that is passed out from the body. The next organ involved in excretion is the liver. The liver is very important. It excretes the product bowel pigments through bowel. Bowel is usually excreted via the alimentary canal or the digestive system. You may know it by one of those two names. The next organ we're going to look at is the lungs. The lungs are also very important in excreting waste from the body. The waste they excrete is carbon dioxide. And as you breathe, the air that you take out contains carbon dioxide. Even right now, carbon dioxide is being excreted by you. The next organ which completes our list of organs involved in excretion is the skin. I'm sure you know what your skin excretes and this one is quite easy to remember and quite easy to guess right now. You might just not know what is contained in the sweat that your skin excretes. But well, what's contained in your sweat is simply urea, salts and water which is excreted as sweat. The last one was easy to guess, I'm sure. With that said and done, let's look at the third part of this lesson, which is the importance of excretion. 
Excretion, just like any other process that occurs in the body, is very important. Without it, many things would go wrong in the body. To get a good picture of why excretion is important, we are going to look at a simple story. Imagine this. You have a house. And in that house, you've got a kitchen where there's a bin somewhere. Maybe in the corner, near to a place where you usually eat from. And in that bin, you usually throw waste paper. And as time goes on, the waste starts accumulating. After the accumulation, you don't have time to throw away those waste in the bin. And because that bin is full, you don't have anywhere to throw your wastes. Therefore, you start throwing your wastes all over the place and your house starts looking dirty. Someone comes and asks you why your kitchen looks so dirty. I'm sure you recall with me that the kitchen is dirty because the bin is full. That's the same with our bodies. The process of excretion is like the bin in the kitchen being emptied. And so if it's not done, the bin won't be empty. Therefore, the importance of excretion is to prevent metabolic waste from building up in the body. And you should always note that if the metabolic waste is not removed from the body, it can build up and cause harm. This harm might be a disease even. Thanks for watching till this part of the video where we're going to share a bonus tip. When studying excretion, we won't be looking at almost all excretory organs in detail. We're going to refer to a specific collection of organs which form a specific system. This system is called the urinary system. It's a system usually studied under excretion. And we're going to go in it in so much detail. The picture here shows the system, which is known as the urinary system. It got many organs in it. And if you look closely, we've got the kidneys, which are an excretory organ we looked at earlier in the video. And so, from now on, when we look at excretion, or when you go to look at excretion, remember that you should get understanding of the organs in this picture, how they work together, and how they perform the process of excretion. Thanks for watching this video till the end. We really appreciate you sparing some time. If this video was helpful, consider giving it a like or sharing it to someone you think it might also help. Never forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed.